Hi everyone, welcome, welcome to your role and restore class. So this 30 minute class we focus on releasing the tension in the physical body, especially the back body. So when we feel anxious or stressed, we have a tendency to contract our muscles and to contract the shoulders, the face, the foot. So we're gonna release and open the body using different techniques from breath work to yin to roll and release. So you will need a tennis ball and a pillow. And let's begin in a meditation seat. You may want to grab your pillow like me and place your pillow underneath your seat. Palm of the hand will face up toward the ceiling. And find your long spine. Take your time to slowly close your eyes. And bring your awareness directly on your breath. And pay attention to your natural cadence of your breath. Is your breath short, shallow, long and smooth? And your breath will give you a good indication of how you feel right now. So if you feel anxious or stressed, your breath will be probably shorter and more shallow. If you feel relaxed, your breath will be smooth and long. No need to bring any judgment, simply witness your breath. And now let's together manipulate the breath. So exhale naturally and inhale for five counts. Exhale for seven. Inhale for five, four, three, two, one. Exhale seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. In for five, three, two, one. Hold your breath for two, one. Exhale for seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. In for five, four, three, two, one. Hold two, one. X for seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Keep going on your own. Five count as you inhale. Hold your breath for two count. Long exhalation for seven count. One more round. Breath come back to its natural rhythm. I just slowly transition out of meditation. Come to join me standing up <coughs> and grab your tennis ball, placing your tennis ball underneath your right foot where your knuckles are, just underneath your knuckles. Here on the floor, gently moving your tennis ball right and left. You may want to close your eyes so you can feel the sensation 
underneath your foot. During this practice, during the yin and roll and release practice, I will invite you to keep your breath long and small. If your breath becomes short and shallow, you are going too far away. You are applying too much pressure or you are going too far away into the stretch. Place your ball now where the arch of your foot is. And start to explore this area. So ears and his nose set rules. It's all about exploring what feels good, what feels what feel tense. So circling motion, perhaps right, left, perhaps back and forth. And if you notice the tender spot, stay there, apply more pressure and breathe deeply. As you inhale, press your foot into the ball. As you exhale, let go of the tension, allow your foot to melt down to the support beneath you. Last area underneath the foot, placing the ball underneath your heel, so toes on the floor. This area is usually less sensitive, so feel free to apply more pressure. It's quite easy to be distracted, distracted by the sound around us, distracted by the external world. So see if you can allow yourself to be fully in the expanse as you feel the sensation, as you come back to the ebb and flow of your breath. Just take a moment as you move the ball to the side to notice the difference between the right foot and the left foot. In a short amount of time, can we change the way you feel and your state of being? Same process, ball come underneath your left foot this time. Underneath your knuckles, explore, making sure that your left heel is on the floor. And perhaps moving the ball a little bit lower now towards the arch of your foot. Remember, you can always stay in one spot and breathe deeply. Inhale, apply pressure. Exhale, allow your body to soften to the support. I'm placing your ball now underneath your left heel, toes on the floor. There is sound and noise around me. Unfortunately, I can't do anything about that. So keep focusing on your own inner experience. Know that we can't control our external world, but we can control our attitude and the way we feel. And Jenny Feliz your ball from underneath your left foot and come to a squat where you take your toes under and try to have your seat on top of your heels the more you're gonna lean back the more you're gonna feel the sensation you can lean forward if you want less pressure if your pinky toes are very small like me you want to use your finger to take your pinky toes under we won't stay here for too long, and I invite you to come back to your breath. And allow your breath to create more space, more softness, more relaxation.
Inhalate the sensation. We try to embrace them. Last three breaths here, in through the nose, out through the nose. And when you release, place your hand on the floor, tap the top of your feet on your mat. Take a moment to observe. Underneath the feet relate to the whole back body. So when we stimulate the connective tissue underneath, behind the feet, there is a release happening not only through the feet but also through the rest of the back body, including all the way up to the back of the neck. Hands and knees, please. Gently move your tailbone and your shoulders from side to side. So you contract one side of the body and you expand the other one. Have a look to the opposite heel. Come back through the center, reach your right arm to the side and as you extend, front your right arm underneath your left arm and extend your left arm forward. So no need to engage anything, head heavy, sit can pass your knees, come back to the depth of your breath. left hand underneath your left shoulder as you inhale reach your right arm to the side and as you exhale right hand down inhale left arm exhale thread the needle and lengthen your right arm forward all the way down to the floor with your right heel one more breath Right hand underneath your right shoulder, lift your left arm to the side, exhale, left hand down. And take your toes under, down while facing them. A couple of breaths here, reach your seat back and down. Reach your fingertips forward and down, and your heels down and back. Walk your feet away, your hands reaching the front of the mat in a full fold, the head heavy. Arms dangling down. We're going to stay for a little while in what we call a dangling pose. Where your feet will be hip distance apart. Really opening the whole back channel of the body. So you can bend your knees slightly as you open the space in between your vertebrae. You may want to have your hand on the floor. Grab your opposite elbow with your hand. In this shape, may you want to feel quite and comfortable quickly. So come back to your breath as a way to soothe yourself. And if the expand starts to become more intense, you may come back to the five count as you inhale, two count as you hold your breath, seven count as you exhale. With each exhalation, you soften. With each exhalation, you bring more calmness in your body and in your mind. Softening through the jaw, through the face. 
and then the back of the foot so thin. Three more rounds of breath here. Exhale, release your hands down, step your feet back. Child pose, reach your feet with your hands, make yourself like a little ball, forehead on the floor. Observe. Rebound pose, I call this the most important moment of the practice. This is the moment where the magic happens. In between the shape where the energy flow, flow into your tummy out stagnation. Hands underneath your shoulders, lift your head, lift your torso. Grab your tennis ball. I'm gonna target the back of the shoulder and more your, your upper back actually. Where your shoulder blades are, so this is a flat bone behind your shoulders a little bit lower. And there is a muscle called infraspinatus, and this is what we're going to target. So your tennis ball will be underneath this spot. Starting with the right side. And then turn around and up. Place your sole of the feet on the floor and open your right arm to the side. Allow your back body to melt down and feel the pressure of the ball underneath your shoulder blade. Start to explore this area by moving up and down. So some movement can be big, so some movement can be small. Make sure you are staying on your threshold or your edge. So if you are losing the flow of your breath or the depth of your breath, you are going too far away. Moving slowly so you can be aware when you are actually passing your limit. Two more. You can place your tennis ball away from underneath your right shoulder blade. Take a moment to notice the difference between the right side and the left side. The same technique, this time underneath your left shoulder there. I'm turning around, that's just for you to see me. So you don't need to move your body. Extend your left wing to the side. First, stay in stillness. Allow your arm, your shoulders to, to be heavy. Allow some gentle movement. Arm moving up. Just a gentle movement, a slow movement. Or slow but shallow, doesn't need to be big. And keep the movement slow even if the movement are big. And that allows us to stay aware of all the sensations, stay also aware of the cadence of the breath. Three more rounds.
We're going to the sign on the forward one. Stand with the tennis ball, this time face the tennis ball underneath your right bum cheek, so quite close to your lower back, so just below your lower back on the right side. And come to Badakonasana, legs of the feet together, knees apart. So press to the sole of the feet and lift your pelvis away from the ball so here you can control the pressure. More you move your front of your hips up toward the ceiling, less pressure you're gonna have, more your pelvis is heavy, more you're gonna apply pressure. Start to explore by moving your hips from side to side. Make sure that the back of your shoulders and the back of your head stay on the floor. If you notice a sweet spot, and by sweet spot I mean a tender spot, you may want to stay in and apply pressure as you exhale so fun. So find your pelvic floor, your shoulders, your legs. Stand the same side and I'll move your ball a little bit lower. So toward the piriformis, the center of your bum cheek. Same movement or perhaps exploring different movement. Moving back and forth, right and left. Keeping your breath small, the movement slow. Gently release your tennis ball from underneath your right bum cheek. Draw your right knee toward your chest as you lengthen your left leg down. You may want to grab actually your pillow and place your pillow to the left side of your mat. Extend your right arm to the side and send your right leg over to the left. You guys can move up to your right fingertips, come into your twist. Feel the center line of your body, which is now your torso and your bottom leg. And feel free to adjust from this space. Gently come back to the center, the mini Shavasana style. Take a moment to observe in between sides. Tennis ball now come underneath your left bum cheek. So let's start to the upper side of the glute. So where just underneath your lower back. So of the feet together. Into butterfly legs. Let's move Jenny from side to side. Remember that your breath is always here to take you back into the present moment and your breath is easy and the most accessible tool to relax your nervous system. Every time you elongate or extend your exhalation, your nervous system relaxes automatically. 
So come back to your breath if you notice a lot of tension or heat in your body. Come back to your five count as you inhale on your breath for two count and exhale for seven. Place your ball now to towards your pelvic bone, the center of your left bum cheek. Same thing. Remember that you don't need to follow exactly my cue. You can always do what feels the best for you. Continue with movement, consciousness. Coming back to your breath technique, five to seven. Or simply having an effortless breath. So now Jenny release the ball, place your pillow to the right side of your mat. Lengthen your right leg forward and down, draw your left knee toward your chest. Moving your left leg over to the right side, adjust from your torso, from your bottom leg. Find your center and twist from there, twist from the center of your spine and your belly button. Gaze up, gaze toward your left arm. Two more rounds of breath. Johnny, come back to the center. Take a moment to observe. Come to Shavasana. You may want to have your pillow underneath your knees. Make sure the back of your neck is long. Allow your toes and your feet to fall to the side. Slowly and consciously, your fingers and your toes. Bring your arms above your head, taking a big stretch out like you're just waking up. Fall to the left side. We'll come up to the seat. And then we'll place your pillow back underneath your seat. Find your straight spine as your right ear come toward your right shoulder.
press your fingertips on the floor and walk your left fingertips away from your body. Opening and stretching through the left side of your neck. If the stretch is it's enough, stay here. Or perhaps the left right hand come on top of your head. From here, staying in stillness or so explore moving your chin toward your armpit and your collarbone. Exploring different angles. Making sure you're not forcing with your arm. Just allow the weight of your arm to take you deeper into the expression of the stretch. Can you release your right hand down? Big circle in one dire direction with your head. Draw soft. And you move to the other direction. Left heel come toward your left shoulder. Start move your right fingertips away from your body, left hand on top of your head, not forcing, not pushing, allowing, and this is what I feel, what you feel to just move your head from side to side, up and down. Keeping both shoulders away from your ears. Both hands on the floor, inhale, chin up towards the ceiling. Exhale, chin down toward your collarbone. And one more time, inhale up. Exhale down. And come back through the center. Bring your hand in clear position in front of your chest. Let's finish your practice by taking three deep breaths together. Big full inhalation through the nose. A complete exhalation through the mouth. <sighs> Twice more. Big full inhalation. Big complete exhalation. <sighs> Make the next breath your deepest breath of your day. And letting go. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you so much for making your health a priority. Namaste.